The name of the movie is uh, View from Blue Moon. You know, from the very beginning, I want to do something big and cinematic. It's all 4K stuff, yeah, the whole movie. We have the Phantom 4K and that camera's a beast. And shooting with shot overs and cineplexes and all that too. We're pretty insane, like it's a lot of camera gear. It's a whole nother world working with all that gear and all that money and you know, you have a helicopter flying over your head for an hour and a half. It's like, it's pretty stressful on time. You know, we had 20 people on our first movie trip and it was like, okay, I'm gonna go surf right now, the waves are good now. And then people would be like, wait, no, don't move. It's gonna take us 45 minutes. And like, you're missing sessions, you know? It's like when the waves are good, you have no control over it, that's when it's good. And so by the end of the movie though, we just were going on trips with exactly what we knew we wanted and way more streamlined. The first couple times we used the helicopter, it was like nerve wracking. Like I, I was having, it was like surfing a contest or something. You have, you, know, like you have this much time and you know, you're hoping the heli's in position every time you take off on a wave you're, or the heli's like down the beach and you gotta wait for it to come back or you're getting caught inside trying to get back out and the thing's just sitting there hovering and you're just screaming like fuck in the water. It was pretty funny, like some definitely had some bad sessions with the helicopter. Actually, the most fun part I think I had filming with the helicopters and filming for the whole thing was when we were flying. Like I was flying the little plane and the heli was flying with us and we flew around the whole island and just talking to the helicopter pilot and doing like maneuvers with them was the coolest thing ever. They're all like, they're, at one point we were flying like 15 feet above the water and the heli's crabbing alongside of us like that. And then like the heli's like coming over us like 10 feet above the plane, just whoo, it was crazy. And then like the watching the footage from that was just <laughs> amazing. Originally we we're like, who are we gonna get to narrate it? Like, we're just like, well, who could work? And I mean, John C. Riley came up and we just, you know, we just started asking people. And yeah, he's just like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. The ocean floor rises five miles to the shores of what people call the Seven Mile Miracle. And so I'm constantly on the road. Blake sends me like, will send me like five links of different things and we'll change little things. And every little change I'll send back like a whole note with every time code of everything I thought. I was in Europe for a month during the final stages of it finishing up. And so he's like sending me the edits and he's like up waiting for me to get back to him right when I wake up. And have to go through and write notes to each one before my heat in the morning, before I go down the contest. You know, like everyone's like, oh, he's asking me like, oh, do you love the movie? Like, how is it? And to be honest, like I've seen it so many times. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm at the point where I'm like, I think it's good. I hope people like it. The only thing I wanted to do for the whole movie, you know, was to be able to go on these trips with my friends and um, get to work with these camera gear, which I did. And then to see it all come together in the end is pretty amazing.